So here, I have a bunch of uh, sweet pepper seeds. I kind of think that they're dry, too dry already. I might have left them out, but let's see what happens. Probably going to be no good after this. Let's see if any of them grow. put a bunch of sweet pepper seeds in this thing looks like they're starting to come up it's been a few days already Each day they're getting bigger. I think my oregano tree is dying, or oregano plant, doesn't look very good, I don't know what I did wrong, but I should have plant, transplanted it as soon as I got it, somebody gave them to me, there's three of them there. I think it's about time to transplant these because they're getting too big. I don't know how many are in there, but I will find out. That one's healthy. Okay, well now I'm just downright late. These need to be transplanted ASAP. have to go into my stash and have to clean all this up okay here is my stash okay what I need is some of these uh, two of these I think the rest of them I'm making paper or something
So I put them over here. I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I had to displace one of my plants that was here. Put it over that way. Okay, so here are my sweet pepper plants. I have to water them again. They're looking good. A few little ones over here. A little bit of new growth. They're standing up on their own. This one looks like, oh, well, they're fine. Okay, here we are. Uh, they're looking good. Is that another one going? I have to put them in the ground. They're already good. They can go in the ground now, but I've just been too lazy. Well, they're looking good, but they're way too big, and they're starting to get some white flies underneath them. I have to plant, transplant them as soon as possible. Uh, this, thing, this one, I don't know. Well, it's still alive. This one's dead. Need water. They have white flies on them. Oh, I need, oh, that's not water. Yeah, right. I'll give them water. Huh? So far, five remain. Well, they're pretty big, and this one already has peppers. I'm going to have to try to speed up my process because it's taking too long. I should have put them in the soil a long time ago. Okay, I have here their survivors. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, some of them already have sweet peppers, but I have a white fly or mold problem. But this will go away when I put them in the sun. I took too long. I was too busy. I have to just clean them up and throw them in the dirt. Flowers. Well, here are my sweet peppers. I haven't used them much because I have other ones. But you know what? I'm going to pick some right now. I have to clean them. They have some kind of mold on them or something. Hmm. This one's good. This one's a little bit too ripe. They have like mildew under the leaves and white flies attack them. Yeah, this is still good. I'm going to cook some food right now. I was supposed to... Uh, put them in the garden and I still might a lot of them had leaves fall off so they were bigger before I haven't I didn't get around to putting them in the dirt anyway that's the update good morning planted in PR here um, I stopped filming my peppers I mean there's a lot of them but I mean not really a lot there could be a lot more if it was in the ground I ate a few of them and it keeps seeding. I was supposed to put them in the ground a long time ago. So I mean they're they're definitely here. A lot of them got this like funky mold on the leaves and uh, the leaves started to fall off but then a lot of new leaves came up that don't have it. Now I'm starting to get the white flies again. That's because this area doesn't get as much hard sun as it needs to in order to prevent that. So I need to put these in the ground but I'm just too lazy, I guess. And here's my lemon, little lemon tree cutting. It took a bunch of roots. And I've been feeding it water and it's turning yellow. I'm hoping that I could turn it green again. But I haven't really been paying as much attention as I really should have. But we'll see what happens. I still got some sweet peppers and I already ate some. It wasn't a waste of time. I was supposed to pick these peppers before, but I didn't. Um, what I I ended up picking cacao, and and I, I picked the peppers from over there. So I never took them out, and I lost a few. Like these are no good. It's all scrunched up. Yeah, I'm just gonna rip them off. I mean, there's new peppers. 
they aren't really growing that well over here because it's it's closed in and it's not getting rain I'm watering them but it's not the ideal conditions I mean it looks these look pretty good I mean but they, they have like a film of something on them like dirt or something or I don't know some kind of mold and it's not I don't, it's not really I don't like it that they they're much better like over here these I just picked from the garden on the side these look a lot nicer and they're a lot cleaner things grow better when there's lots of sun I just harvested a, a bunch of recao so that my aunt can make sofrito and recaito I'm gonna bring it to her right now so I'm about to pick all of these because I'm not using them because I already have some and I'm, I'm gonna get more and there's more on the side of the house so yeah these are not they need to be clean so I'm putting them in a separate bag Okay, so here, yeah, there's also white flies over here. These white flies are much less predominant um, over there on the side of the house. I'm gonna pick this red one. And this green one looks kind of big, and I'm gonna have enough for later, so I'm just gonna, I'm giving these away to my aunt. Well, here's the update on the lemon tree cutting that broke off. It has roots and I have to put it in soil a long time ago but I haven't really been gardening as much as I should but anyway that's the update and now they're growing more and there's red ones and pretty ones all over the place um, I'm gonna be cutting them soon and I have to make some sofrito Yeah, there's white flies and there's ants there's little ants I don't know how well it's gonna come out in the camera but there are little ants they're called bejalde they actually bite and they're all over the place now I think I'm going to uh, sooner or later I'm gonna have to put these in the dirt I don't know why I've just been delaying the process I should I should have just done it a long time ago but I am still picking sweet peppers and they're still good. There's one that got wasted. Yeah, so far I lost a few of them. But I mean, hey, I have sweet peppers to cook with. That's what matters. And I have sweet peppers on the side of the house. These are gonna get picked soon because they're red and they're beautiful. And yeah, this one's a little moldy. Yeah, it has another one in there. But I mean, they're good. I just had to clean them off. But that was because of, uh, I don't know. It's just sometimes the plants get that stuff on it. It's because it's in the shade and the rain and whatnot. Today, well, I'm going to take what's left of my pepper plants and put them in the dirt. This is the last pepper over here. Last sweet pepper, and it's, it's starting to flower some more. Now, they're definitely not dead. I'm going to trim them and cut them up and prune them up so that they could be nicer. Yeah, the lemon tree died. It had, it had roots, but I left it in the water, and the water got nasty, and the roots died, then the plant tree... The cutting died so 
Next time I'll have to take it out. Thing is, I left it in water for too long and it got all contaminated. But yeah, today I'm gonna throw these inside the garden. You want freedom? Hurt? So anyway, I'm going to be planting them over here. Most of this is just dirty, but it'll look beautiful after all the uh, mulch starts going in. Over here we have the last of uh, the other peppers. Um, I think I'm going to cut them up and take them with me. Yeah, because the rest of them died because everything overgrew here. Yeah, these are big. Everything overgrew here. I have this one, but this one it was covered up with the tall grass. And, well, it, it's still alive, so we'll see what happens. And there's one over here, too. Yeah, this one right here. And so all of this got where it was overgrown. I'm going to take the plants I have and put them right here.
these are ground staples. Ground staples used to put the fabric cloth down. So these are the peppers from over there. This one's looking very, very healthy. So is this one. I trimmed them down after. But yeah, now we just let them grow and vegetate. And uh, sooner or later, they'll be good. I'm, was there five? I think well, this one was a double one. This one we definitely put here. This one's gonna be big if it keeps growing like that. This lemon tree is it's out of control over here. I should be making clones out of them so I can have more lemon trees. Hmm. So anyway, what am I looking at? So one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, there was five I gave one away. They're healthier now. Sooner or later, they'll start to put out peppers. Looking good. I need to fill up all of this. I want a full pepper patch. Unfortunately, I have to stop filming these plants, even though it looks like they have a bright future ahead of them. This one's going to branch off and bush off everywhere. and looks very healthy. Um... The plants are growing fine and they're going to get bigger. And they don't have the white flies that they had over there. Everything's nice and clean over here. Yeah, this one. I have to pop this one up in order for it to get its full. Unfortunately, I have to end this video series because I've been doing this for... I'm not sure how many months. I have to check the time stamps on the videos but apparently I have too much video on this video so I have to cut down check it out check it out check it out planted in PR hair and this is the easy way this here is the easy way to amass plants two dollars a piece I wanted to um, lowest priced best places that I could buy plants at and buy them on maybe one day I'll, I'll do a video of that place I have two uh, these are not bell peppers these are um, the long green peppers we have the long green peppers and we have three I hear dulce from the same ones that I grew last time hmm. let's see if I could put um, well I had to put them in a the dirt ASAP I hope I do <laughs> I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time. Okay, I don't really want to record this. So I'm just going to, oh, I'm, I'm not going to record it. But these are the five plants that I purchased for $10, $2 each. And um, I'm going to put these in the ground right now. And these are the old ahidusas because I have to start the new ones. I'm still recording, but I'm not going to record the whole process because the last time I did that, it turned out to be a really pain in the ass. Well, I have the garden fabric. I have the garden staples, the ground staples or whatever you want to call them. And uh, these are the other ones. I laid out more plastic. I'm making one hole right here. That's where this one's going to go. And I'm going to make a hole right, probably right there and one right at the edge of this so I could space them apart like 12 inches I want them crowded a little bit because they have to hold each other up because this one over here man it turned into a monster but it's a big flop house everything on it is flopping over and being held up by these sticks right there and the whole branch is laying on a rock that I put there so I'm just going to leave that one produced because it's just beautiful and it's producing all sorts of different peppers uh, but yeah, this, uh, all of these are the same kind as this. What I need are these 
the sabroso. I need these sweet peppers. Yeah, if I could get, if I could, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do it. Because I have to preserve that seed because that's, those, those sweet peppers are not easy to acquire. Oh, I almost feel like I cheated. I went out and bought these $2 sweet pepper plants. And I put some more fabric cloth down, a few more staples. I still have a couple of uh, long pepper plants over there I have to plant. But at least I'll have a more full patch over here. Now the next ones I have to do are these. I have a bunch of seeds of this type of pepper plant. This one's not going to last that long. And it's it's still good, but yeah, these the, these are ají dulce sabroso, and uh, I need to save this uh, genetics because I, I can't let it go because once it's gone, it's gone, and and I have to get it back again, and that's kind of difficult. So I have this batch of seeds from a strain of pepper, which I like to save. It's called um, an ají dulce sabroso, and I really want to keep the genetics growing all the time. So I take these soup cups and I scrunch all the seeds inside and see what happens again. It's been about a little over ten, like 10 months. 10 months, 11 months, since I planted the other ones. These over here have to go in the ground soon. I can't be lazy like last time. 